Chris Goodson and I facilitated uh, this summer at NCAP, which is the North Carolina Center for Advancement of Teaching. And he approached me with the idea that he, we need to get a team together uh, of kids to build the boat. We applied some science, math, a little bit of language arts in, in our research and our reading um, to design and build this boat. They took that knowledge and they were to design a boat that they felt like would be successful uh, making it down the Whitewater Channel. We used duct tape so that way it would be really secure and then we used the inflatables under so that way when you sit it would it's still gonna float and then we just duct taped all this together so it would be one piece and it wouldn't be a bunch of different pieces separated. The buckets you see were supposed to be 50 gallon drum. We came up with the idea of the paint buckets. We thought it would serve the same purpose, not be quite as large. Uh, several of, I think, the past winners or the ones that were successful making it down the whole channel had the 50 gallon drums, uh, and that's where that idea came from, but we kind of modified it and made it our own. You know, it's like any other boat when you build it. You've got to make sure it doesn't sink. So we're going to a boat launch here in Mount Holly and put it in the river. A few of us sit in it and make sure that it's going to hold us, that um, all of our design thinking is actually going to work. It was a really cool experience and we got to learn a lot. It wasn't just a project that we did. We got to learn stuff that we can use for real life. I'm extremely proud of my students and what the design they came up with. My goal is to have as many Gaston County um, parents, students, families to come out and support us because the crowd response um, determines best in show and I just want that for my students for their hard work.